Hey guys, uh, today I was going to show you another one of my homemade guns. Uh, this is a six millimeter Creedmoor built, uh, single shot rifle, uh, cock on open, no ejector, has a, a hook style extractor. I uh, built this one specifically for uh, uh, a medium game hunting, deer hunting, pig hunting. So the six millimeter Creedmoor was the, the round I went with. Uh, since it was a hunt gun, I want to make it drop safe, so it has a, a pretty unique uh, trigger design. I feel uh, that again, if you if you dropped it out of a tree stand or something, it wouldn't go off. Um, I tried to make it light, but it didn't turn out real well. It's still a pretty heavy gun, um, but I wasn't really happy with it. I thought the the barrel's a little short for that caliber. It's about a sixteen and a quarter inch barrel. It is a fire breather, and the six millimeter Creedmoor is really meant for a for a longer barrel. Um, and I built it for a shorter range shooting, so I did put some sights on it. I took the, there was a, these are Remington 700 sights I modified to put on there. I left the front one on there, took the back one off later. Um, ended up making a different gun for, for this purpose, so I put this uh, nine power loophole on there. Uh, it's a pretty accurate rifle. I mean, six millimeter Creedmoor. It's, uh, you know, they're six, the six millimeter and the six five, very popular calibers and, and pretty accurate. I mean, definitely sub, -M sub MOA if you, uh, you get the right rounds. I was going to show you the caliber, the cartridge here. Um, most of you are probably familiar with it. Uh, it's just a 6.5 cream more, obviously, like down to 6 millimeter. Um, spicy little cartridge, uh, pretty fast. Um, long L over D on the bullets. Uh, this is a shilling barrel. It has a 1 and 8 twist, uh, from a 243 caliber or 6 millimeter. Um, it's about a 16 and a quarter inch long. Uh, this is stock actually is probably one of my best ones. Uh, it's, it's American Walnut with a mahogany end cap here. Um, there's a little bit of sapwood crept in on that walnut, uh, but just a, a beautiful stock. There is a, a whole line poorly patched right here. Had I known this was going to turn out nicer, I'd try to do a better job. I built this gun about three years ago. Um, so I, you know, again, it was made for hunting, so there's a little bit lower. Uh, uh, drop of the comb in the heel here than you would probably put for normally for a scope rifle. Uh, again, it was initially intended for iron sights. So the things I did make on the rifle, I made, of course, the receiver, um, the bolt, um, bolt handle, all the firing pin mechanism, all the trigger mechanism, trigger guard. Uh, this is a uh, Packmire. Like I've been saying a lot in my other videos, it's, they're all Packmire ground to fit um, butt pads. Of course, I didn't make this, this scope or the scope rings. Uh, I get modified. Uh, um, scope rail and of course I hijacked some Remington 700 sights to put on there um, but yeah it's uh, I mean, stock wise this is by far the best looking uh, gun I've made yeah let me work the action for you real quick uh, so the trigger pull is not the best it's a drop safe uh, design so it, it's, it's not the best but for, for hunting purposes more than adequate but yeah, let's uh, let's take it to the range, put a few rounds to it, then we'll come back and, uh, and take it apart. All right. Okay, to take her apart, um, there's two screws here, one here, one here. I'll take those out. Whole receiver and barrel should pop through the stock. Now that that's out, I'll let you get a good look at the stock here. Like I said, probably one of my finest stocks. Um, like I said that I put a wood sealer on it first at brown L cells, then lens speed about eight or nine coats. Of course, raise the grain several times before you do any of that after you finish sanding, and then a, a good stock wax. So that really turned out nice. So that, even that mahogany end cap really turned out nice. Anyways, I, I had the um, sling swivel here and I didn't like that, so I patched it up. A little, 
dial of mahogany and moved it up here. But anyways, here's the, um, all the, I guess the guts of the gun here. Um, show you the, so the trigger mechanism needs these little, um, see if I can get one of these little lock screws in there. Uh, you'll see how the trigger works. You don't want this trigger coming loose from the receiver. Uh, that would be bad. Gun would go off. So, uh, you need these little lock screws to make sure everything stays good and snug. But let me take uh, lock screws out and these screws that holds the trigger mechanism on. Let's show you how the trigger mechanism works. Um, this right here is really the, it goes straight to the firing pin. Uh, you know, when you cock the bolt, it comes up and of course the, the trigger mechanism will keep it right here, you know, and that, that shoots the gun. Uh, but I'll, I'll take apart this trigger mechanism. It's a little elaborate. Um, hopefully I'll do a good job explaining it. There's a lot of pins. One, two, three, five pins. There's probably two or three springs in there. So uh, let me get that apart and show you how that works. Uh, so try to explain how this trigger works. Of course, when you when you push it, it will push this part back against the spring. And this ledge, this of course this is pinned in. It stops this part from going down, or you know going down like that, and that will let the catch go. Uh, so it's it's this I guess physical lock right here that stops the gun from going off. And when you hit this, there's, a, I guess, an incline. It'll push this out of, let me get where you can see that better. Um, push this down. It will push this back. And this part can drop. And that will let the firing pin drop. So, again, this, this uh, of course, this part's pinned in. It, it can move back and forth. There's a slot uh, for it to move back and forth. And this pin right here allows this part to only pivot down. There's a, there's a, you know, a pin here to keep it level, but, um, you can see that's a pretty, pretty significant lock right there that, that, that won't, that won't go loose, you know, won't, won't, won't break unless this part gets pushed out of the way. And for that to happen, uh, you'd really have to drop the gun. So, uh, that's what I came up with. Um, kind of elaborate, I guess. Uh, but for a, a drop, a drop safe trigger. Okay. Let me uh, take the bolt apart next. I'll take the bolt out. There's a, a plug right here. We'll take that out, take the bolt handle off, uh, take the, um, I guess the firing pin, sear, whatever you want to call it off, and pull it on out. I did put a, a little a little lock, a lock screw in there to keep the bolt handle from, from rotating much. Um, so it still turns a little. So I got that out of there. Um, so here's a picture of the bolt. Um, this is, a, like I said, a later one. I went to a, a a a a longer yet smaller and wider locking lug. Uh, the math just said that's probably a better design than the, than the earlier ones that had a um, I guess a, a, a wider maybe uh, firing uh, locking lug. But uh, uh, I'll, I'll take this out. This right here will have uh, there's just of course the spring here that drives the firing pin. There's the firing pin. Let me get that in focus. There's the firing pin and of course this. Little firing pin, um, sear catch is what rode in there. So I'll take that out. Uh, there's just a simple, again, hook style extractor, um, like I normally do. Uh, but let me back this part out, show you how that part works. I was going to say there is a little set screw right there. Just I just remembered that uh, keeps this everything from from backing out. Let me take that out too. Uh, but here's the firing pin, firing pin spring, and I guess that bolt plug maybe a good word for it. But that's about it. Um, that's just how it all works. Um, the receiver, just get you a look in there. Looks pretty similar to my other ones, of course. I, like I said I, I kind of changed the way the dimensions of my locking legs going forward. I went to a, I guess, a longer, wider one. Um, up here is just um, get that in focus. That's a um, just a where the second screw is that the, the stock um, uh, screws into. Just a little. A little thing that screws barely screws into the barrel. But anyways, guys, there it is. Um, pretty simple, really. Um, my six millimeter uh, Creedmoor hunting rifle. Okay. But anyways, guys, there it is. My homemade uh, six millimeter Creedmoor. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, be safe and God bless.